A cluttered space brings about a cluttered mind. So in order to find clarity of thought, I'm going to create a simple and practical bookcase that will fix this problem right up. These are all the tools that I'll need. So we've got our pre-cut timber from Bunnings, our hardwood ply, power tools, our painting equipment and our hardware. So we're going to measure out for the positioning of our shelves. We've got a fixed shelf at the top, in the middle and the bottom. So we're going to start by measuring that centre shelf first. And then I've decided to divide up the space evenly for the three shelves that are going to go in there, but you can put them wherever you like. Now we're going to pop our timber up on its side and transfer the mark from one piece to the other so that our shelves are nice and straight. So now we've marked our sides, we're going to open them up. That way we have a left-hand panel and a right-hand panel. And then we're going to mark straight lines across so we know where to put our pilot holes. Make sure that your lines are square and then mark your position for your shelf supports. Pre-drill the holes for your shelf supports, but make sure you don't go through too far, otherwise you'll see them from the outside. We want each of the shelf support holes to be a consistent depth, so we've added some tape to our drill so that we know where to stop each time. So what we're going to do now is add our fixed shelves for structural integrity. Helps if you've got a friend to hold things for you at this point, but if you don't, you can always use some clamps. We need to make sure that we're holding it up on its edge so that we've got a nice straight line when we're drilling our two holes at the same time. You may find that your timber's bowing in the middle, so if you can get an extra set of hands, that's great. Otherwise, grab some clamps. Now that our frame's complete, we're going to give it a sand so it's nice and smooth, and then add a lick of paint. Be sure to mask off wherever you're cutting in to make your lines straighter. Now our paint's dry. We've taken the tape off the edges and we've flipped it over so we can put our back on. To put the back on the bookcase, we're going to make sure that it's flush on two sides, nail it down so that we've got a nice straight corner. And from that point forward, we'll be able to make sure the entire bookcase is square. Now we've secured half our back down, we're going to use the router to cut off the excess. You might need a friend to help you out with this. Now that our backing's trimmed to size, we just need to secure it with a few more nails. We're going to give our shelves a quick sand and then hit them with a little bit of wax, which will give them a nice protectant. Now we're set to add our shelf supports. And once they're in, we can put in the shelves. There you have it. A great bookshelf that you've made yourself can suit any room of the house. The shelves can be adjusted to fit all your special things and precious books in. If you wanted, you could make a whole wall of them. So before we had a bit of a clutter happening in this corner and now we've got a beautifully organised space. Helps us to keep our mind in check so that we know exactly what we need to do and when with this nice, simple bookcase.